What's up, Schema? How you doing? I'm Matt. I'm a design manager here at Figma, where I look after all things design systems. And what drew me to Figma earlier this year and makes this moment feel so, so special and different is that we're on the cusp of a new era of how we build products. Now, this is a story you've heard today, you've heard many times, but I think it's worth repeating. In the next few years, AI will dramatically reshape our industry. And in many ways, it already has. We're seeing new levels of investment in design system with the recognition and understanding that they dramatically improve the quality of the outputs and the experience of your teams when they're working with LLMs. And it's clear to us at Figma that design systems are more important than they've ever been. So today, I'm going to share a little bit about how our product lineup that we've announced today helps you unlock the power of AI for your teams. And I'm also going to share a few examples of how I think design systems are going to evolve in this new era. So let's start with the first problem, one that you're all very familiar with. Design and code live in completely different worlds. We try to keep them in sync. We build automation. We try to manage the change between our Figma files and all of our various code bases. And we're always trying to keep our documentation fresh and in sync, too. But despite our best efforts, it never really actually stays in sync, does it? This growing gap between design and code, I like to call the chasm of despair. <laughs> the chasm is the enemy of adoption. This is where things drift further apart and trust in our system starts to erode. It's where our systems stop scaling and people stop using them. And teams go back to building everything from scratch, which widens the chasm further. But inside of this chasm is an opportunity. Because as we close this in this new era, and we bring design and engineering closer together, we'll really realize the promise of modern design system in the years ahead. The second problem is that design systems context is often spread across tons of tools and many different formats. You've got Figma files, docs, wikis, internal sites, libraries, it's a lot. And for some, the context is only in people's heads. On top of being fragmented, the context is also often out of date and inconsistent with itself. It's not structured in a way that humans can easily understand. Sure, engineers and designers, given time and training and guidance, can piece it together and start to learn it. But what about new teammates in your organizations? What about AI? We expect AI to help our teams in miraculous ways but we still haven't set it up for success because today's systems just weren't built with AI in mind. If we want AI to help us build a future where the promises of our design systems come true, we have to give it something it can understand. That means rethinking how our systems are structured and maintaining them holistically. Today, that might mean using semantic naming, clear component descriptions, and code line concepts like auto layout. In the future, it means we'll have a much more interconnected and unified design system. Let's take a look at how some of our latest features start to close the chasm and start to build a more connected web of context. For years, your teams have been building design systems and putting their blood, sweat, and tears into high-quality, production-ready components. And now, for the first time, you can use those production-grade components in Figma Make. With the ability to import via NPM packages, your team can use the components to design and prototype. But we don't all have perfect production components. Design systems are a work in progress, always. So to make sure we empower everyone to bring their design systems into code, we built make kits, which allow you to generate a complete set of components based on your Figma library files. And this means your entire team can build code-backed prototypes, not just technical designers and engineers. They can start with an idea, and they can bring it to life using your actual design system. And while this is a small step towards closing the chasm between design and code, it's a key example of how design systems are going to unleash the power of AI for your organizations. As we build more tools to close the chasm, it's important that we further align our Figma concepts with our team's engineering components. This isn't new for, for Figma. Features like auto layout, components, and variables all originated in code. We brought them to Figma to make design more expressive, more flexible, and more aligned with how products are actually built. And it turns out using those leads to much better LLM generations across the board. And now with slots, which we just heard a ton about, we're taking that one step further. We're giving you more of the same flexibility that your engineers have when they develop your products. And we're also helping your teams from needing to detach your components, which helps you scale your system more efficiently. And it's a huge step forward in how design tools represent actual product architecture. 
And taking it to another level, we've talked a lot about the Figma MCP, and you're going to hear more about it in a bit. And when that's paired with Code Connect, it creates an incredible bridge between Figma and Code. I mean, Jake's demo earlier was really the future of how we're going to be building products. It's incredible. MCP is a bridge that syncs your system's tokens, props, and patterns as a live service other tools can use. But it goes beyond sharing assets like icons. It lets you share rich metadata, tokens, usage patterns, component properties, everything your team needs to build with a high level of accuracy and compliance with your system. It helps paint a complete picture of your design system. It's the start of how we connect the disparate parts of context of your design system together to start closing that chasm of despair. In this new world, we're not just trying to sync artifacts anymore. We're actually starting to sync meaning. OK. We've all had times when designs made it through crit and into production with the wrong colors, misused patterns, or hard-coded components. We just didn't have the time or the tools to catch it yet. Now imagine those reviews happening automatically, real-time validation of design decisions that are made in Figma every day, a world where adhering to design systems is as simple as autocomplete. We're taking a step towards that future with check designs, where your system becomes a collaborator with your designers. It makes it easier for your team to accurately use your design system. It's able to catch things they missed, quickly nudging them back into alignment with your system. It helps them stay on track without breaking their flow. And it automatically applies the changes without really requiring much effort at all. Check designs really is just the start of what I imagine being possible in the future. Because when Figma understands the intricacies of your system, designers don't need to be masters in it anymore, because Figma is. OK, let's shift gears a little bit and look towards the future. I don't have a crystal ball, and I can't predict how AI is going to evolve in the years to come. But I can imagine some possibilities. I know today we spend tons of time manually auditing files and helping people adopt the system. And that leaves very little time for future-facing work, for innovation, and for up-leveling our products. But once we have richly interconnected and semi-automated design systems, how we show up as design systems designers will change dramatically. Imagine a world where design systems evolve, maybe even automatically, alongside our products as we build them. What if Figma could understand the work your team is doing every single day? What if it knew about your spacing grid that you and your team talked about and decided to use, but you never documented? What if it knew how you laid out your card components just based on how your team's already done it, even if you didn't write documentation? Maybe it even knows how these patterns evolved over time. And maybe it might even suggest new components or documentation updates for you to add to your design system. Someday our systems will become a much more interconnected organism, where every part speaks to the other. A system where all of our teams have a shared source of truth across disciplines and across products. A system that isn't just easier ma to manage, but one that's much more scalable, much more inclusive, and much more fluid across design, product, and engineering than anything we've seen before. If systems become living and connected, how we govern them is going to evolve too. It won't just be, did I update my Figma file? It'll become, did I update the system itself? Because when you change one thing, that change can cascade across the rest. Now, once we've closed the chasm and we have this interconnected and always evolving system, what becomes possible? Our AI collaborators are going to be a powerful augmentation to how design systems teams function in their organizations. Let's look at another example. Today, you might have a designer who uses two primary buttons next to each other. Um, Sometimes this gets caught in crit. Sometimes it ends up in production. You fix it later. But in the future, your AI collaborator won't just flag it. It'll understand your system, the designer's intent, and it might gently suggest something like, hey, you know, the pattern here is to use a secondary button. Do you want me to update that for you? And making it just as easy as spell check, you can scale the right patterns across your team, not just variables, without years of training them. Now, let's look at like a more ambiguous or nuanced situation. Here's a design that a new designer on our team made for this music player app. And they've used an action sheet for this music player drill in. But this isn't a common pattern across the app. And it's not something that's documented in the design system. So the AI collaborator of the future might actually suggest, hey, use a full screen view. It might pull up examples across the team showcasing how the full screen view is used across the product. And it would offer to update the designs for that designer. 
This would speed up designers' workflows and accelerate the adoption of that design system. In this new world, I believe that design systems will begin to fade into the background and become an always-on, invisible reality for our teams. In a future where AI collaborators function like a member of the design systems team, you'll be empowered to focus on the things that matter most, defining new patterns, collaborating on new unsolved challenges, and you'll spend your time creating again, not just configuring. As the future comes, we're going to see the chasm between design and code continue to close. We'll reach a new level of collaboration that's never been possible before with our engineering teams. And our context will become interconnected and centralized, and it will become a lot less effortful to scale. But considering this talk about how AI is going to change our industry, I think it's worth being really clear about one really important thing. The future of design systems isn't going to be built by accident. It's not going to be built by a black box technology that nobody understands. It's going to be built by the people in this room and the design system authors who care so deeply about empowering their teams with craft and quality and creativity and up-leveling their products. AI is here to amplify you so you can make product development more human, more creative, and more collaborative than it's ever been before. So let's build the future we've been waiting for together. Thanks.